He's got to chip it between those bunkers with the flag only six or seven yards on the green the other side. And the cheeky lad, he's run it through the middle and played an absolute gem of a stroke. Ellis had this to tie with Nicholas for second place. Straight in the middle. What a prospect for the future, and what an exciting end to this championship. Pyrrhus needing to get down in two to stay level with Parr and with Crenshaw. Gives it a bump up the slope. Oh, and the young Matador is absolutely delighted. And why not? Against all the odds, he takes the outright lead yet again. And well, I do believe he's away off there and found a car park. So you have a you have a free drop, uh, and we you also have we, we play the line of sight rule uh, in relation to park motor cars. So where I must drop? Uh, you take the nearest nearest point, giving you complete relief, no nearer the hull. So very delicate situation, and all the rules being applied absolutely correctly. Alastairus now has found the true spot to drop, and how lucky he has been to be able to get that sort of lie from that wild tee shot. It's still a difficult shot though, across the green. And it's a good one. The gods are smiling on this young man today. He's been rather wayward and got away with it all so far. Two putts from here to remain two ahead. only needs one. <laughs> well, the golfing gods really are with the smiling Spaniard today. Would you believe it in trouble yet again at the 17th? This is the 15th time he's been in a greenside bunker during this championship. Erwin coming through the crowd and surrendering and somewhere back in the mass. No sign of nerves now as he faced a very long putt and put it dead. <laughs> that made him the youngest golfer since 1868 to win the Open. A new star was born, his brothers couldn't contain their joy. How will you celebrate tonight with your brothers and the rest of the family? Uh, well, I know I usually don't drink. I, I, but I, I think, think you will I tonight. Think, <laughs> I think I will. Number 16 and 17. And here triumphantly, number 18, Seve Ballesteros, 23 years and four days old of Santander, Spain, plays one third of the 72 holes under par, a record. And the par four holes, six under par, another record to become both the youngest winner of the Masters and the first from Europe. Severiano Ballesteros, the 1980 Masters champion. Ole, indeed. Almost as though scripted in Hollywood, the manner of his finale superbly exemplifies the man and his game. The strength to be bold, the courage to dare, the self-control to err, and then above all else, the intelligence, the skill, and the nerveless touch to recover brilliantly. Well, he's been over par at this hole every day so far. 461 yards, a par four, and what a daunting drive over the outline of the old black railway shed. You can go as far right as you dare towards the new golf and country club. That's a safe line, way to the left. So they're now approaching one of the most formidable second shots in golf. Lying all right, but not a very good line in over the bunker if he's going to go right at the pin and of course the road and the stone wall waiting for him behind. Back on the tee, Tom Watson arrives and waits to drive. Seve's shot, about 200 yards. And believe it or not, that 
was a six iron. Smashed with every sinew in his body. It digs in, it runs forward. It stops, and that's a bit of magic. A six iron from there is quite incredible. Watson's hopes of a sixth open title died here on the 17th. On the 18th green, Seve was putting for a birdie, a course record, and victory. The putt, to me, never looks like it's going in. But because it was the 18th green and because it was what it was, it almost has a mind of its own and finds a way to get into the hole. I mean, and, and I think that typifies what you can achieve if you believe. Uh, and what Seve has to do most weeks of his life, you, you, you believe you're going to do it. Not high enough to beat Ballesteros, though, on the 16th he produced the shot that won the Open. Ballesteros walked down the 18th, the shot in front, the packed galleries roared their support, and it ended with a touch of genius. A tap in for par, a 65, it equaled his own course record. Well, it was nice to be back after nine years uh, uh, from my first uh, victory. And, uh, you know, I just like to say that uh, thank you to the people that they really support me a lot and they, uh, they really make me uh, feel like at home, you know, and it was very nice. Seve was back, back at the top. <laughs> 